So first I will perform hand hygiene. Hey Miss Cheryl, how are you today? I'm doing good. My name is Janelle. I'll be the student nurse taking care of you today. Can you tell me what brought you in? Yes, I came for a basic physical. Okay, um, do you know what today is? Yes, today is the 12th. And can you tell me where we are? WTC. Okay, and by this I can tell that my patient is alert and oriented times four. So on a scale from one to 10, can you tell me if you're experiencing any pain, 10 being the worst? No, I'm not experiencing any pain. And any allergies I should know about? Yes, I'm allergic to listen to pearl. Okay, um, so today I'm just gonna be doing a complete head to toe assessment. I'm really gonna start from your head and work all the way down to your uh, feet, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so first I would take my patient's vital signs and they will all be within normal limits. That would be the blood pressure, respiratory rate, heart rate, uh, temperature and uh, oxygen saturation. Okay, so initially by looking at my patient, her facial features are symmetrical. Um, her skin is normal um, to her ethnicity. Um, no labored breathing. Her chest is equal uh, rise and fall. And her posture is upright and straight, no slouching at all. So, Ms. Chandler, I'm going to start at your head. I'm just going to look in your hair, okay? So, I would just feel her hair and check and feel and make sure there's no scarring, abrasions, infestations, or lesions. There's none of that. Um, I would then work my way down to her eyes. And her eyes, nose, lips, and everything is symmetrical to her face. So, Ms. Chandler, I'm just going to check um, your eyes. Just stare at my nose, okay? Okay, and her eyes are equal round and reactive to light. Um, I'm just gonna pull down on your um, eyelids, okay? So her conjunctiva is red, her sclera is white. Um, I'm gonna check your ears, okay? Do you have any hearing aids or have you know any hard of hearing? Okay. I think I cleaned up this morning. <laughs> okay, her ears are clear, no drainage or redness at all. I'm just going to feel behind, just let me know if there's any pain, no pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she has no skin breakdown on her face at all. I'm going to check your nose. I need you to just lean your head back from me, okay? Okay, uh, no redness, so drainage, and yeah, everything looks good in her nose. Can you just hold one nostril for me and breathe? Can you do the other one? Okay, her, uh, Nose is clear, which allows for her to have adequate breathing. I'm going to check your mouth, okay? So I just need you to say ah for me. She's doing some voice, my mouth blocked. You say ah. Okay, her teeth are intact. Her oral cavity is moist and um, red. Um, her lips are moist. They don't look dry. So now I'm going to work my way down to her neck and um, check her carotid pulse. Carotid post is equal um, bilaterally plus two. I'm going to, there's no jugular uh, vein distension on her neck and everything is clear. We're going to check her range of motion. So I just need you to look from side to side, then up, down. And I her range of motion, she has full range of motion. Um, now I'm going to work down to her chest area. I'm just going to listen to your wound sounds, okay? And I'm gonna put my stethoscope at six different places each time, just uh, breathe hard for me, okay? Listen on your back and just do the same thing, okay? Okay, her lung, anterior and posterior, her lung signs are clear, no wheezing, no strider. 
uh, they're equal bilaterally. Um, now I'm going to listen to your heart sounds, okay? And you can just breathe normal. S1 and S2 sound good. Her heart tones are clear. Okay, now I need you. Let me look at your hand. Let me just check your hand. Her nails are clear uh, and clean. Her capillary refill is less than three seconds. I need you to go like this for me. Just check and see. No clubbing at all present on her fingers. Okay. Her radio posts are. There, bilaterally plus two. Okay, so can you lay back for me? So right now I'm gonna check her apical pulse. Can they see you on, on the camera? listen to her apical pose for a full minute Apical pulse was 93. Okay, so at this point, I will move down to my patient's stomach, and I'm not going to lift her shirt, but at this point, I will just inspect her stomach to check for any scarring, uh, skin breakdown, lesions, abrasions, um, any sores on her stomach, and everything um, would be clear. I would check the shape of her stomach and the contour of her stomach. It would be round. Um, so I'm just going to listen to your stomach now, okay? Her bowels and stomach sounds are present. They're um, active, so everything will be clear there. So now I'm just gonna feel on your stomach, okay? And just let me know if you have any pain. And are you having regular bowel movement? Mm -hmm. And you're urinating properly? Mm -hmm. Okay. No pain? No. Now her stomach is soft. Um, there's no rigid, she's not guarding, um, and her stomach is soft and round. Um, so now I will move down to her legs. Um, I will just inspect her legs, um, check for edema, uh, no edema present, and I will just palpate to make sure, you know, there's no pain at all. No. Okay. No pain. There's no pain in her legs, and everything is clear. And while I'm here, um, if her shoes were off, I would check her um, capillary refill and her toes uh, to make sure that they were, uh, it was less than three seconds. And then I would just check her pedal pulses, make sure that they were present. And then I would check her posterior uh, 
tibia pulses to make sure that those are present and they'll be present so now so now can you uh swing over and sit up for me again you're supposed to help your patient <laughs> okay can you go like this for me okay press out Okay, push towards me. Okay, and pull back towards you. Okay, and the same with your legs. Push out. Okay, pull back in. Okay, press out. And in. Okay. Uh, her muscular strength is a uh, five out of five on top and lower extremities. Um. And that'll be all. So if you have any more questions, you know, just let me know. I'll give you a call light. Um, if you need any, you know, help or assistance, just don't feel free to hit the call light and let me know if you have any questions before the doctor comes in. And that'll be all. So have a good day. You too. Thank you, nurse. You're welcome.